Atlantic 10 tournament began with Duquesne winning the event in 1977. From 1978 through 1984, the tournament champions were all teams that eventually moved to the Big East Conference and have since found various conference homes. Xavier, Temple, and Rhode Island have all made the Elite Eight during the Atlantic 10 era. The Atlantic 10 Conference race was a dogfight throughout the regular season. No one team had command throughout the months of January. It was always going to be a race decided by multiple teams jostling with each other down to the final day, and there was uncertainty about how the league would shape up. Davidson is the top seed, Dayton is the second, Rhode Island third, Richmond fourth, VCU fifth, George Washington is the sixth seed, St. Bonaventure seventh, Massachusetts eighth, LaSalle ninth, St. Joseph's tenth, Duquesne eleventh, Fordham twelfth, George Mason thirteenth, and St. Louis is the fourteenth seed. This is a neutral site tournament played each day in Brooklyn. When you look at the tournament odds, you'll find all of the teams listed with prices next to each team. The bigger the favorite, the smaller the number, including negatives. So let's say a team is listed with a price of minus 300 and you want to bet that team to win it all. If you bet on that team, you would have to lay $300 to win $100. That's how it works when you bet odds with a minus sign in front of them. Now let's say you want to bet on a team with a plus sign in front of them. Let's say an underdog with odds of plus 240. If you bet on that team, you would win $240 if you bet $100 on that team if they win the tournament. That's the difference when there's a plus sign in front of the odds. You don't have to bet in $100 increments. That's just the way the odds are set up so that bettors can quickly scan the list of teams, see who is involved in the tournament, and judge who is the favorite and who are the underdogs. The Dayton Flyers made the Elite Eight a season ago behind Archie Miller. The Flyers just got into the NCAA tournament as a number 11 seed, but once they got in, they were magical, beating third-seeded Syracuse to advance to the Sweet 16. The Flyers then beat Stanford to make the Elite Eight before Florida stopped them. The team isn't an exact replica of that Elite Eight team, but some players are still in the mix, and knowing how last season went should give the team a lot of comfort and confidence. The Flyers know that they have the right coach to lead them, and they know that since no one player is depended on to an extreme extent, this team can showcase balance over the course of the three games in Brooklyn. Dayton is also in a good position because Virginia Commonwealth, a team that was very strong earlier in the season, lost Briante Weber, the heart of the team, to an injury. Without Weber, VCU has been an ordinary team, so Dayton definitely has a better chance than VCU of winning this tournament. Rhode Island has been in the top five of the conference standings all season, but the Rams did not get nearly as many quality wins as Dayton, VCU, or Davidson. They're not a primary favorite. If not Dayton, then the Davidson Wildcats certainly make sense as the other primary favorite. Dayton stormed down the stretch to win the league, winning its last few games in blowout fashion. The Wildcats share the ball in much the same way Dayton does. One gets the feeling that the final is going to pit these mirror image clubs against each other. There are five teams that are near the top of the league all season, so a sleeper candidate that would make sense is also Massachusetts or George Washington. These teams were bubble teams at one point, but now must win the A-10 tournament to make the NCAA tournament. These teams will be very motivated, more so than BCU or Dayton, which already have secured NCAA bids. Davidson is a well-coached team, but so is Dayton. The Flyers are more accustomed to the grind of this tournament and have the experience of last year's Elite Eight to guide them through tournament pressure. VCU is shorthanded at a time when it really needs its best player on the floor. Dayton is the team that should win this tournament, most likely over Davidson in the finals. Dayton missed out on the Atlantic 10 regular last season championship, so the Flyers will feel they have something to prove in Brooklyn. Don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.